All right, so now I'll read a letter. Dear Dr. Dan, I am a 30 year old female who lives in the United States of America. I've been in a relationship with my partner for three years and he still gets angry whenever I mention marriage. Even though he has made it very clear that he wants to be with me, but he has not taken any steps towards marriage with me. One of my friends has told me that my partner has a fear of commitment. What are some of the signs of fear of commitment? Why do men find it difficult to commit to a relationship? People with fear of commitment find it difficult to commit to longer term relationships or even marriage. So the question then is, what are some of the signs of fear of commitment? Number one, avoiding making future plans with your partner. So you can see this in your partner in the sense that when you mention marriage, he gets so defensive, he might even become so angry, he might even insult you. This can be a clear sign that your partner is exhibiting a symptom of fear of commitment. So it's not that they don't love you, but it's just that they are, they, are, they are afraid to commit to a longer term relationship or marriage with you. It could be due to some insecurities that they have about the relationship. Number two, avoiding talking about the future of the relationship. So for a partner who has a fear of commitment, when you make any attempt to talk about the future of the relationship with them, they would avoid this conversation. This is because for whatever things that they are going through, they don't see a future for the relationship at this moment. You know, they, they don't think that this relationship will even go into the future and they don't want to talk about it now. It depends on whatever they are going through, maybe they don't see a future for this relationship at this point in time. They are just afraid to commit to a longer relationship so they would never want to talk or have a discussion on the future of the relationship. The third point is delayed response to calls and also text messages. So for a partner who is afraid to commit to a longer term relationship or even marry with you, you will see that they delay in trying to respond to your calls or even your text message. They may take like four days, three days, even one week to respond to your call or even your text message. There's a clear indication that they are afraid to commit to the future because they know that if they respond promptly to your calls and also your text messages, the relationship will develop into the future or even to marriage. So they would rather delay responses to your calls and your text messages. Number four, lack of emotional attachment. So a partner who has fear of commitment would show no feelings at all or no emotions towards you or even towards the relationship you know because they are afraid to commit to you so then they are also afraid to even invest their emotions or their feelings into you or even into the relationship there should definitely be a clear sign that they are afraid to commit to you or to a longer term relationship in this case marriage number five inconsistent behavior so for a partner who is afraid to commit to you in the future or to commit to marriage with you, they show a lot of inconsistencies in their behavior, in the way they act, in the way they talk to you. So for example, today they can tell you that they see a future together with you or marriage with you. Next time they tell you no, they don't see a future with you, they don't see marriage with you. Such inconsistencies suggest to you that they are afraid, you know, they have some kind of fear about committing to a longer term relationship with you. In fact, they can't tell you a lot of lies. They should also make you know that they don't want to commit to a longer term relationship. Number six, always fighting or arguing with you. So for a partner who has a fear of committing to a longer term relationship, one of the strategies that they use is that they always want to argue with you. They always want to fight with you. They use this kind of strategy because when there's almost always argument or even fights in a relationship, the relationship never develops. So that the relationship cannot even develop to a longer term relationship and then to marriage. So when they always fight you and always argue with you to destroy the progress of the relationship, it should be an indication that they have some kind of fear of committing to you or even to the relationship in the longer term. Number seven poor communication for any relationship to develop or grow into long term good communication 
and also regular communication is very important. So if your partner is communicating less with you, there should be a sign that he or she does not want to commit to a longer term relationship with you. Because if they communicate regularly with you, the relationship will definitely develop into marriage. So for me, the next question is, why are men afraid to commit to a relationship or to commit to longer term relationships or even to marriage? Number one, fear of not being in the right relationship. So guys who are afraid to commit to a longer term relationship or marriage may have this kind of fear going through their minds. The fear that you are not the right person for them. The fear that they might make a mistake and choose the wrong partner. So this kind of thing that goes through in their head with this kind of fear that they are not with the right person can make them afraid to commit to you in the long term or even to commit to marriage. Number two, fear of being in an unhealthy relationship. So sometimes guys are just afraid that the relationship that they have with you might turn out to become a bad relationship, it might become a toxic relationship. So this kind of fear can prevent them from wanting to commit to you in the long term or wanting to commit to, to marriage with you, especially if they've been in an unhealthy relationship or a bad or a toxic relationship in their previous life, then this will make them even more afraid to want to commit to you, especially when they've seen signs that the relationship will become a bad or a toxic or an unhealthy relationship. The third point is trust issues due to past hurts or even broken hearts. So for guys who have been hurt in their previous relationship or for guys who have had a broken heart in their previous relationship, they are likely to develop trust issues and this might prevent them from wanting to commit to you in a relationship. So when people have been hurt in their previous relationship, they kind of don't trust any woman again. You know, so for them to advance their relationship with you, they think that what happened to them from the previous woman will be the same thing that will happen. So this kind of trust issues will prevent a guy from wanting to commit to you, you know, in the long term or even to marriage. Number four, childhood trauma or abuse. So for guys who have been abused when they were children or when they were very young and have not been able to deal with it, they might also develop trust issues and therefore will not want to commit you know, to longer term relationships or even marriage with you just because they don't trust people you know, because they might have gone through sexual abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse when they were children and they've not been able to deal with this and if they've not been able to deal with this kind of abuse that they went through then it affects you know, their future life and in this case fear of committing to you because they don't trust you. Number five, or met childhood needs. So children, you know, definitely have some needs that their parents must, you know, satisfy. They need for love, they need for protection, they need for safety. When these needs are not met or satisfied by their parents, they lose their trust for their parents. And then they carry this into their future life where they don't believe, you know, in you and therefore do not want to commit to you in a longer term relationship just because during their childhood many of their needs for love, for protection, for safety were not met. Number six, fear of the relationship ending without notice or even the fear of rejection. So quite often guys might not be willing to commit to a relationship with you because they are afraid that this relationship might end suddenly without being told that this is going to end just because they might have gone through a similar situation in the past with another you know lady they feel that this might happen again and because of this fear of rejection or fear that the relationship will end suddenly without being notified they rather not commit to the relationship because they don't want to experience any pain you know emotional pain you know when the relationship ends suddenly or they don't want to be rejected 